Software version 2020.12.6 is here and it's getting us one step closer to full self-driving. I'm Frugal Tesla Guy and we're going to take an in-depth look at traffic light and stop sign control. When hardware version 3 started rolling out, it was exciting to see the new visualizations like the traffic cones, stop signs, traffic lights, and even markings on the road. And although they were neat to look at, it got old fast, especially when orange traffic cones were popping up everywhere. But now their true purpose is being put to use with the release of Tesla software version 2020.12.6. Now for those with full self-driving, the stop signs, traffic lights, and even the markings on the road are helping the car stop automatically at a stop sign or red light, and with a little help from the driver, cross the intersection after a complete stop at a stop sign or once the light turns green. Now these features will work when the car is in traffic aware cruise control or auto steer. Now it's important to take note that with traffic light and stop sign control activated, you will not be able to go any faster than the speed limit while using auto steer, but you will be able to go at least five miles per hour faster than the speed limit when using traffic aware cruise control. Once you download the software, you'll need to go into settings by tapping the car icon, autopilot, and then toggle on traffic light and stop sign control. You will then need to read and agree to all the legalities. Now it's time to have some fun. As you approach the stop sign, once you get about 600 feet from it, it will give an indication that you're about 600 feet. And then it will count down from there, 500, 400, and so on. Now, as you get closer to the stop sign, it begins to slow down and then it comes to a complete stop. You have two options at this point, either press down on the right stock or press on the accelerator. Just give it a tap and it will creep out for you to check for oncoming traffic. Then you just let it continue to go and traffic aware cruise control and everything continues as normal. This next stop sign was interesting because it confirms the fact that it not only uses the cameras, but the maps as well. As you can see, I got the indicator on the screen that there was a stop sign within 600 feet away, but it's nowhere in sight because it's actually around this blind curve here. As you can see right there, now we get first visualization of the stop sign. And of course it slows down, comes to a complete stop. And like last time I tapped on the accelerator and it creeped out into the intersection, allowing me to check for oncoming traffic. And once I knew it was safe, I just continued as normal with traffic aware cruise control. So as you creep out into traffic from a stop, I wanted to see if there was an actually oncoming car, if it would stop. So you can see it stops here. There's a car that goes by and then I push down the right stock to creep out into traffic. And there's that blue truck came way too close to it. I had to stop and press the brake myself. Then of course I got back into traffic and put it into traffic aware cruise control. So you just need to play it safe and be sure to check that traffic even when it's creeping out on its own. This next example is pretty basic, just showing a four-way stop sign with oncoming traffic. And once it came to a complete stop, I pushed down the right stock and it went across the intersection. No problem with other traffic on the road. <laughs> Much like that of the stop sign, once it reaches 600 feet from the traffic signal, it will give you an indication as you will see on the screen there. And again, much like that of the stop sign, it will count down for you how many feet you are from it. If it's red, it will of course stop. Now, since there were no cars in front of me, it uses that white line as a point of reference where to stop. And on the screen, it's indicated as that red line there. Now, once the cross traffic goes and the light eventually turns green, I then push down on the right stock and the car crosses the intersection. Now, you'll notice there's another green light and another small intersection. I had to push the stock down again in order to continue to move forward. Next example shows what happens when you're approaching a green light. 
So as usual, it shows that there's a traffic control in 600, 400 feet. Eventually, it will see that it's green. At that point, in fact, at any point, once it does know that it's green, you can push down on the right stock and it will move through the intersection without slowing down. However, if it turns red at any point after that, it will stop at the intersection. Now what happens when there's traffic in front of you and the light turns green? Well, once the light turns green, all you do is push down on the right stock or tap the accelerator and it will move through the traffic light without slowing down. However, if you don't give it that confirmation, it will stop at that green light. Now, I wanted to use this next traffic light, this next intersection example, to show you what happens if you're turning left. What I wanted to find out is if my light is green, but the oncoming traffic is red, if it will indeed go on its own in traffic aware cruise control. So once the light turned green, I pushed down on the right stock, as you can see there, the car moved forward and you can see my light was green, but the oncoming traffic had a red light. But again, my car continued to move forward. But another safety feature is interesting. It noted that the truck in front of me was a safety hazard. But once it realized we were both turning left, it uh, no longer indicated it was a danger and everything moved forward as normal. So the next question is, what if you give it confirmation that it's okay to cross the intersection if you see that the light is green, which I did here? You can't see it too clearly. I did give it that confirmation, but between the time that I gave it confirmation and the time that I got to the intersection, it had turned yellow and then red. And as you can see here, it safely stops at the intersection. Now what I wanted to do is see if the car would turn left on a red arrow. As you can see here, my arrow is red, the left arrow, but the oncoming traffic is green. Now you can see there's no oncoming traffic. So I push down on the right stock. And indeed, as you can look closely, you can barely see it. My light is still red and it's still moving across the intersection. Keep in mind, I'm still in traffic aware cruise control. So just one more confirmation that you need to pay attention at all times. This one was interesting because I was approaching some train tracks and it did have the lights, but the lights actually weren't on. So what the car did is actually treated it like a stop sign. The line is there, the red line indicating that it was stopping. So I had to push down the right stock to get it to go across the tracks. So kind of interesting there. Up until this point, we did see with the stop signs and the traffic lights that there was a white line for a point of reference for the car. Of course, now we have confirmation that that is a point of reference for the car on where to stop. Now, as you can see here at this intersection, the car in front of me is actually on that white line. And on the computer screen, it's red because it's a red light. And that tells the Tesla that is where you're going to stop, even if the light is green. Now, what I've got to do is, of course, either tap on the accelerator or give the right stock a tap down and it will go from red to gray. Once that line turns gray, it tells the car it's safe to cross the intersection. This was kind of interesting because I was in the left lane uneven and I wanted to straighten it out. And the only, only way I could do that was just to slowly move forward with the accelerator. And it did allow me to go over that red line, but the car never moved forward into the intersection until of course it turned green and I pushed on the right stock and it moved across the intersection eventually. We saw that the car turned left on a red arrow. So the question is, will it turn right on a red arrow? So you can see here, it comes to a complete stop. I push down on the right stock and it won't move forward. The only thing I can do is press on the accelerator and move over that red line. And once that red line is crossed, it then goes back into traffic aware cruise control and everything runs as usual. And of course, I checked to make sure it was safe to turn right. So what I wanted to illustrate here is that here I am in traffic aware cruise control. Now the light turns green and it will move forward as usual, but this is confirmation that it will indeed stop at a green light. Now there was no one behind me, so it was safe for me to do this, but you can see how it pretty much stops right there. But then I push down the right stock and it moves forward. And you'll see that there's another green light not too far ahead here. I once again, had to push the right stock in order to get it to move forward. Otherwise, it would have come to a complete stop. 
Now, next here, I wanted to show what happens when you kind of get into that downtown groove when all of those green lights just kind of come on one right after another. You still have to pay attention and you'll see that, of course, as we get to this first light, you get that early indication that say, hey, 600 feet away is the next traffic signal. Once it knows it's green and once you know it's green, all you do is tap down that right stock and it will move through that next light. Now, this next one is not too far away. You can see I push down on the stock and it moves forward. This one's a little bit farther away, but again, early indication that it's safe to cross the intersection. As long as it's green, it will do that. So once again, you've just got to pay attention, but uh, you can get through these lights pretty quickly just by a quick tap of either the accelerator or the right stock. Overall, I'm really impressed with the overall performance of this new feature. I like the fact that Tesla has taken measures to make sure you're paying attention with confirmation to move through a green light. Much like that of auto steer and auto lane change, it feels safe and at no point did I feel like I was in danger or didn't have control if I needed it. I like how the car slowly creeps out into the intersection at a stop sign to give you time to react if a car is coming. The on-screen notifications make it easy to react accordingly. And it's nice to know that even if you give it early notification to move through a green light, it will stop if the light turns red before you reach that light. I was also impressed with how well it handled blind curves with stop signs, and it actually stopped without any delay. What came as a nice surprise is it recognized train crossings and will stop if you don't give it confirmation to move through. As with anything else, it's not perfect. It did move through a left red arrow. However, that was after I pushed down the right stock to move forward. Now this may be because not all left turns are protected, but it should still recognize the left red arrow and treat it like a red light and not allow you to move forward until it turns green. Now at times, braking was less than smooth and quite jarring. And I was disappointed with the fact that it didn't stop while an oncoming truck was moving toward me while creeping out into traffic at a stop sign. To me, it feels like this is something the car should be able to handle and certainly leaves room for improvement. In conclusion, I couldn't be happier with this update. Is it perfect? Of course not. But overall, it works beautifully as far as I'm concerned. Now keep in mind, this is my first experience with less than an hour of driving, and I'm sure there are several more traffic situations I didn't come across and may discover more good and bad things as I use it more. So what do you think? Have you tried it? If so, how was your experience? I'd love to hear what you all think in the comments section below. Well, thank you all so much for watching and you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.